question is, do you think Zen is a scam token? Go ahead, Sam. That's for you, Buck. He was, he was, oh, that's right. He was the guest <laughs> I was uh, I was just uh, dodging the question. No, no, no. Uh, is that a I don't, scam? I don't, think, uh, I don't think the price has any. I don't think the price is going to go up, but I don't think it's a scam. Ba very short. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I I would agree. I would say uh, I, I'll give you my kind of thirty thousand foot view of of what Jack is doing. I, my great skill is looking holistically at things. I'm not a very good bottom up thinker. I'm a good top down thinker. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes. Do you want to explain yeah. for people what that means? Yeah, I will. Yeah, sorry. I just, I just wanted to make sure you guys could hear me. So uh, in investment processes, there's there's usually uh, a top-down process and a bottom-up process. The top-down is looking at the big picture of, of what's happening. So in the investment world, that could be the kind of macroeconomic environment. So what's happening with the economy? You know, what's Putin doing? You know, how is that all connected, right? And then the bottom up is going to be the, the individual security analysis. So what is this stock going to do versus this stock, right? And you want to have both processes typically in, in the investment world. Mm -hmm. um, but, but most people have different personalities that lend themselves to kind of uh, one or the other. Uh, so I'm more of a top down thinker in general. Uh, I, I don't know the nuances of Zen very well, right? I should say that. I don't know what he's doing exactly with, you know, the batch minting and the Zen NFTs and all that stuff. But holistically, what I think Jack is doing is basically using you guys to onboard uh, lots and lots of people, right? And the whole thing is basically a bit of a, uh, I don't want to say scam, but it, it's an exercise in client acquisition, uh, across many different chains. Uh, it's not something that's actually investable, in my opinion. Um, and he's sort of created a system where you guys make money as mentors by basically ripping the face off of the people you sell, mm -hmm. the things that you mint for free effectively to kind of unwitting people on mm -hmm. exchanges or wherever. Um, and, but is that, is what, that any different than like hacks? You know, you just sell to the next dumb person, right? Who's willing to buy what you're selling? You're well, like years no, like no, 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 no. I, I think when when you buy a hex, you're you're actually expecting it's going to go up in value, right? And if you're selling to somebody in the back of your mind, you're thinking there's a reasonable chance this thing is going up, right? Whereas with Zen, uh, as you said, uh, so I get to use your words, Sam. Uh, we're we're both pretty confident Zen is going to go down in value over time. Right. And, and Jack has basically been telling us this from the beginning. He's you know, joking 18 zeros. Uh, it's not really a joke. He, he, he does expect it to go down. Uh, we did expect it to go down. Right. But what he's doing more importantly is he's just getting as many users as possible with, with a, a variety of different um, tokens, schemes, things like, you know, the NFTs or there's a reflection token called Next. And, and all that is meant to do is basically just to get him numbers. So he's like a, one of these teenage influencers trying to, trying to bootstrap a community as fast as possible. Um, okay, so why is he doing that, right? The reason he's doing that is because he has, on the other side, a lot of connections, a decent pedigree, uh, having worked at Google and uh, done entrepreneurial things, uh, startups that he succeeded in and failed in. Um, and he has very good connections across Silicon Valley, um, but he doesn't have influence with a community or anything like that. So th this whole thing has basically been uh, about getting you guys on board. And now, um, you know, what you're going to see is that he's now going to go b do the normal kind of Silicon Valley style startup, right? Uh, now that he can say that he's got a community behind him. But you guys have been in the weeds of all these little things that he's creating, uh, of trying to figure them out and how to how to game them and how to make money off of them. And what you're going to find is they're probably not that fruitful or useful. But that was never their point. <laughs> their point was just to get you uh, to follow him. And and I want to open this up. Thank you so much, Bucket.